something, please? you and I thought I was losing you I, I had to do something and you know I do, I do stupid things when I feel threatened Caroline wasn't a threat I have eyes Rick the way you look at Caroline yeah that's the way you look you still look I would give anything to see you look at me like that again. Hey, that's me. Hey, sweetie. I hope you're calling to say you changed your mind about coming for dinner tonight. I did, but... I'm bringing Thomas. Caroline. Mom, I hate secrets. And I don't want to keep this one anymore. Especially from Thomas, now that he and I are getting closer. I really appreciate that you want to be honest with Thomas. I really do. But now is not the time. Go out to dinner and have a wonderful evening. Call me tomorrow, tell me all the details. I love you, honey. All right. Hey, reservation's in 30. We should get going. Would it be really rude if I changed my Fine mind? Fine rooftop dining it is. No. I had something else in mind. Like? Taking you to meet my parents. Tonight, you mean? I thought we could drive down to the beach house. Wait, beach house? The one that my parents rented. Right. <laughs> Sorry, do they even know we're coming? I just got off the phone with her. It won't be a problem. Yeah, maybe not for Karen. She kind of digs me, but... Uh, <laughs> what if your dad doesn't approve? Hmm. What's that like? Please get my notes to Rick. Your son has really come into his own. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Why aren't you with Liam? Oh, he's working late tonight. I'll go see him in a little bit. What's your excuse? Oh, Rick wanted some feedback on his designs, and I'm still working on that. Do you have any idea where he is? Yeah, I do. He's at his place with Amber. But don't worry, it is not what you think. Rick is finally seeing Amber for who she really is. After tonight, she will be out of our lives forever. He admitted everything that Hope said was true. Yeah, just... What you led Caroline to believe about the drugs you supplied my sister. Yeah, but it just... Hope was vulnerable, Amber, and you took advantage of that. Rick. You made her think that the doctor gave her a refill, but the truth was the it was The truth is, I was time. trying to help her! I was trying to help for once. I, I thought I was doing something good. I did. When her doctor wouldn't give her any more pills, she was so freaked out, and... I didn't know it was wrong, okay? I didn't know that there were any risks getting prescriptions online with... I just... It was... I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid and I'm sorry. Okay, I'm really sorry. And I swear, God, I swear I will never do anything like that again. Now, how many times have I heard that? Rick, please. No, I went to the map for you, Amber. Against everyone. Nobody wanted you back in our lives. But I believed, I believed. You made me believe that you changed. Because of 
throws it because you want a better life for that little girl, better than the messed up one that Tawny gave you. I do. I do. I want such a wonderful life for her. I want her to have a family that she can be proud of. Yeah, I'll tell you who she can be proud of, Marcus. He's a good parent. I know. But he's marrying Daisy. And soon they're gonna have kids of their own and you know what that means. Amber making Caroline believe that Rick likes to dress up in women's clothing. Uh, and there's more. Okay, you know the pills that I was taking? The ones I got online without a prescription? No. She bought those for you and gave them to you? Oh. But she saw that I was freaking out and she told me that she wanted to help me. And at the time I believed her, you know, it wasn't until later that I realized there was more to it. She needed somebody else on her side besides Rick and forced her. And she knew you were vulnerable. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm not completely blameless here. I mean, as soon as Dr. Barton told me that those pills weren't from her and to throw them away, I, I should have, and I didn't. Honey, you were going through a difficult time and Amber took advantage. No matter how she tries to spin this, Rick is not going to let her get away with it and the danger that she puts you in. At least I hope not. We can't let this ruin things for us. We've had too many zany, wonderful times together. I know we you know, is not always been good or perfect, but I mean, what relationship is, right? The point is, we always find our way back to each other. It's got to stand for something, right? I know. I can be a handful. But occasionally I get something right, you know? I can't imagine my life without you, Rick. I love you so much. I came here to have a perfect night with you. And we aren't gonna leave angry with each other. <laughs> the best part of my life has always been with you. And I know I keep messing things up and getting in my own way, but never, ever doubt for one second just how much I love you. Surprise. Uh, red goes with everything, right? With thank you. Uh, oh my gosh, so thoughtful. No. <laughs> Come no. in. Well, maybe you can put in a good word for me with Caroline's dad. I've been wanting to meet him. Especially if he's as cool as her mom. Both of my parents are cool. Um, Thomas, why don't you open the wine? There's a corkscrew down on the bar. Great. Thanks. Caroline, this is not a good idea and you know why. I told you that I want to be honest. Oh, I know. You want to be perfectly honest with Thomas, okay? Yeah, and there's no reason not to be. I mean, yes, he will be surprised. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, should I pour a glass for your dad? He's coming, right? Uh, uh, actually, Thomas. Mom, I know so much about Thomas's family, and he doesn't know anything about mine. Well, well. I didn't realize young Master Forrester would be joining us this evening. Karen, why didn't you say something? <laughs> Thomas, you're looking dapper as ever. 
Is something wrong? I'm sorry, Jared. I just, I had no idea that you were Caroline's father. That's great. What? What? Oh, my word, no. No. I mean, not that I wouldn't be extremely proud if I were, of course, but uh, no, I, I'm merely a friend of the family. Yeah, since my days way back in the uh, New York office of Ion Fashion, back when I was uh, happily married. Okay. Thomas, I want you to meet Danielle, uh, another friend of mine. It's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Tell me, tell me what I can do, just to make things up to you. What if, what if I see a shrink, huh? Yeah, and then, and then I can, I can find out why I always hurt the people that I love the most, and um, especially you. And then I won't, I won't do it anymore, ever again. Not a lost cause, Rick. I just need to know that you believe in me. Besides, we have a killer line coming up, and we can't let anything affect that, right? I mean, I, I could, I could see it now. Us just riding our successes. You know, we will be the envy of every single fashion house, from Milan to Paris to New York. I mean, designers, they, they will be selling their firstborns just to be in our presence. I mean, just, just hoping that they can have just like a sliver of our talent rubbing off on them. I mean, we, we will transform this industry. I mean, we're gonna become icons. I mean, it's already happening, Rick. It is, and it's only a matter of time before you take your rightful position as Eric Forrester's real son, the CEO of Forrester Creations. I will be right by your side the whole way. I can see it. I can see it. It's gonna happen. If we just uh, we don't let this one little thing just kind of get in the way of it. It's not train. just one thing. That's the problem! You're never gonna change. It's all for him. We're done. Maybe I should check in with your brother. I'd hate to no, think No, Mom, no, no. Amber is out of excuses. Rick is not going to let her get to him. She's gonna cry and plead and say that she's learned her lesson. But this time it's different. I saw it in Rick's eyes. He is not going to be fooled by her. Not ever again. That is much of a pain that I have been at times. I've actually done a lot for you. I brought your designs to life. I helped encourage you creatively. I even gave you my kidney. And for I will God's forever sake. be grateful for that, Amber. But there's no way in hell that I'll ever let you use that to get me to forgive you again. See, it's one thing to hurt me. Oh, no, that hurt my sister, and I'm telling you right now, I will not stand for that. <laughs> do no, that. it's done. You've seen to that. You know, I don't know why you are the way that you are. Maybe it ties back to that whacked out mother of yours, or the fact you're your own worst enemy, but I do know one thing, though. You need to stop blaming everyone else and start taking responsibility for your own what actions. I was trying to do! If you had been doing that, you would have done it by now. But it's always the same old thing with you, isn't it? And I'm so sick of it because I've done my damnedest for you. 
I brought you back to the foresters against everybody else's wishes. Yeah, my mom was right. You don't belong there. No, no, Brooke, she hates me, no, okay? No, she's no. always hated me. My mother sees who you really are. And you know what? Finally, I am too. Our collaboration, it's history. The company, my family, off limits. And it goes for me too. You have a baby with Marcus. If Rosie's best interest is really in your heart, you, you need to leave her with Marcus. And you need to get out of this town. You need to go back to Genoa City or wherever. I don't really care. But just promise me. You promise me that I never have to lay eyes on you again. Enough! All right, enough! Fine. You want me gone. I am gone. But you remember this, Rick Forrester? That I am the best damn thing that's ever happened. I feel bad starting dinner before everyone's here. Uh, more ribs? Thomas Danny always makes enough for an army. Yes, and, and her German potato salad is to no. die for. Jared, I'm good. Thank you. You know what? I'll get it. Excuse me. That's your dad. Nope, not my dad. Come on, how do you know? Am I being too personal? No, 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 no. I invited you here to meet my family. And you know, Caroline is loving working at Forrester. Aren't you, sweetie? Ah, uh, it's just the wrong number. So, Danny, why don't we open another bottle of wine? And Caroline, I just need to have a word with you for a minute, okay? Excuse us. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Mom, I know what you're gonna say. Then why are you not respecting my wishes? starting to really like Thomas, and I think that he likes me too, and he is curious about who my father is and why my last name is Spencer. I don't know why we have to be so secretive. I'm proud of my family. Thomas wants to know about my parents, and I want to tell him. No. No. Absolutely not. We're not going to say anything, Caroline. This is a family matter. And please, stop fighting me on this.